Hello, this is Iron Enforcer, and this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make a um, armor, like a built-on body armor. And I remember this was requested like last year, around November, from this guy, and I kept saying, okay, I'll do it this week, I'm going to have it up, but I never really got to it, and I'm sorry for that, and um, if he's still subscribed or if he's still checking, <laughs> I hope he sees this, because this one's for him, but like, you know, I just thought I might get around to it, and um, I hope you guys you know um, benefit from the from benefit from this too it's very simple so first things first this link from the model to build a morph model it's work no virus no um, infection let's get rid of this thing huh to this stupid decal alright no infection nothing like that it's gonna be in it so you don't need to worry about that um, so yeah, um, so you're going to have to, um, if you're making your own, here's a quick tip, you always have to um, weld the sides. But this model is already going to be welded for use. Even the bottoms need to be welded. I didn't weld that. So now, let's get started. Again, always work in Roblox Studio, never solo. Have that as a sticky note or something like that. Always have your explore and properties open. Sometimes your properties will be popped out, sometimes it'll be like this or any other way, I don't know. But that's how I have mine. So either way it's going to work the same. So what we want to do now is add like an armor kind of look to it. So we're going to go insert object um, part. Okay. And then insert uh, and then click the part. This is like um, like if you want where's the part. The heck is it out right there. If you want the part to be like really stuck onto there. You want to like um, you just reshape it to it and yeah but I don't like doing that I like to make sure it's thin so what I do is go to click the part scroll down my properties and form factor put it to plate that's gonna make your extra thin see I'm just gonna tilt it the way I like it like this so it's like a wallish kind of thing there you go the is why we want weld is because we need it to stick on it if it's all smooth it could fall so yeah no, you could smooth the front but make sure not the back or the corners okay now you could do that but to make extra room like um i don't want to i want to add maybe like extra designs and stuff like that i don't um use the full brick kind of way i like to square up to the smallest it could be and roblox that's the smallest it could be go insert object make sure that the part is clicked object and i'm going to go to 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 block mesh Okay, now we have a mesh inserted into it. That's a people could see it because it's a um, default mesh in Roblox. Go on the mesh and click the size. I want the size to be two right here, and that makes the size bigger or smaller, stuff like that. And you could put bricks even through it, so it's even better. So mess around with that. I'm gonna put two. No, I'm gonna leave that one. But 1.5 to make the thickness. And I'm gonna go one, go two right there like that. Okay, now um, so I'm not really liking the position, so I use the offset. So I'm gonna go two, eh, too low. I don't want to go to one. Not liking that neither. Let's go one. Let's go negative one. Use negatives and positives. Um, let's go negative 0 0.5, and there it goes centered center is about the way I like it so really the parts are right there but right there is the mesh and where I'm moving the mesh so I'm doing this is moving the mesh stuff like that and gives you better control and now what's next um, I want to add another part copy that and I'm just gonna drag it to the middle right there I will make the mesh smaller I turn this to two no I don't want that like that I'll do that one 1.5 what's one three yes let's see one point three made it a little thinner than this one let's go just one there you go and go to two I don't want two I want one let's see so I have like a T uh, that's my camera my right thing like a T right there and that's pretty cool okay so we got that done the front the chest plate so now what we want to do is click our model our armor model. Right here it's already labeled chest arm one, arm two, 
leg, whatever like that. Don't mess with the scripts. So just open it up. In the middle is this. It's the middle chest. Do not resize it and do not delete it. Okay, but the thing problem with it is it um, if you leave it visible, it will um, look all scratchy, kind of retarded look onto your body. So what you do is click the middle and hit transparency to one. No, make it completely invisible. So when you put it on, the only thing you will show is the armor. Okay, but we need to get the armor into it. So we just grab the parts, and drag it to the chest. So now it's part of the chest. And say we want it back. Uh, well, it's just gonna be a simple tutorial. So I'm really careful for that. Okay, so now we're done with the chest. Okay, now we got the legs, the chest, now we got to do the arms. I want to add like a huge machine gun to my arm. So I'm just going to quickly weld the bottom of this one. Just get my angle there. There you go. The top of that is very welded. Good. So I'm just going to position it where I want it. Like that. Get it. And um, where's arm one? No, that's, I want to put in arm two. Arm two is in there. Middle. Transparent. That's even better. Now, for this arm, what do I want to do? Um, you pretty much get the concept of it. I'm just going to turn this one transparent. Actually, I'm just going to leave this like that. So you can see like um, what will happen if you don't leave it transparent. And it's better to make it transparent than just to put a block over it to cover it. Alright, so it's done. Our model's done. It's going to test it. Let's drag it aside. Alright, so now we went to, um, I went to test mode. Just go tools, test, play solo. Yeah, so. And here's our model. I'm going to step on it. And as you can see, my knee, it go, it's on my knees, around it. My chest plate's there. And this is connected to my arm. But look, since I didn't make this arm transparent, it, every time I walk, it has like a weird looking thing there and of course you can add to the back you add to any arm you want you can add as much accessories as you want as long as you can find a way to fit it there and um yeah that's pretty much it you can even add stuff onto the head but to add stuff to the head you have to add to the chest if you add to the arms it will move along move so yeah that's pretty much it you could choose colors you can add decals you can do whatever you want so this is uh, an enforcer tutorial and um thanks for watching and yeah, bye.